Ohio State just finished a 30-23 overtime win at Wisconsin. Bill Landis, Doug Maurice, Ari Wasserman here in the concourse at Camp Randall Stadium as it pours down rain. Before we leave, we wanted to touch on whether or not there are fundamental issues with Ohio State's team or if that's just what winning on the road against a top-10 team is just supposed to look like in college football. Doug, what do you think? Here's my question. Should Ohio State have won tonight? Give me your answer to that. I think that they deserve to win, yeah. No. No, I think Wisconsin made more plays. So I think they probably shouldn't have won, and they won. So, so was that good? you can spin that either way. I'm going to spin it. That's good. They scored a lot more points against Wisconsin than Michigan did against a really good defense. They also allowed more points than Michigan did. But I think this was a much better Wisconsin offense than what played the Wolverines. They had a bye week. They figured a lot of stuff out. I think Wisconsin played really well, and I still don't know exactly how Ohio State won. I will give Ohio State credit for that. We were up in the press box during the game. We wrote some pretty critical stories, at least I did. Um, Doug wrote about whether or not Ohio State's offense can thrive relying on the running game. And sometimes you forget when you cover a team that puts up 50 points a week that if they win a 30-23 to game in overtime on the road, that that's just kind of the way it's supposed to be. Yep. And there's some confusion in my mind of how do you look at this game? Do you feel better about Ohio State moving forward in the national race, or do you kind of think there's some negativity or some underlying issues that could haunt them moving forward? I mean, there were two big games today. There was this one, and Alabama played at Tennessee, and Alabama killed Tennessee. And that's like a very similar game to this. I mean, it doesn't matter whether or not Wisconsin or Tennessee is better. So in the grand scheme of things of Ohio State being a national championship contender, maybe you come away with this with some concerns. Um, I think in the end, and I hate this storyline, but it's going to be talked about, I think it's okay to win games like this. I think it can be good to win games like this. We talked about that Penn State game in 2014, double overtime, how it was galvanizing and all that. It's kind of boring and cliche, but I think there's a little something to it. I think there's something, like Doug said, to like playing poorly and still winning. Um, if you can learn from your mistakes with a win, obviously that's better. I, again, come away with major concerns about whether or not this team can throw the ball and also the question of does it matter. It didn't matter tonight. They beat a really good team with a really good defense on the road in a top-10 matchup, and they won being pretty bad on offense. I think that after they won at Oklahoma and we had this preconceived notion of what Oklahoma was that we felt like this team was almost invincible. And I don't know that that's the case anymore. What I think it might be is an encouraging big-time win with a team that's got issues and overcame those issues. And we will delve into those issues. We will talk about them. We'll talk about the good stuff, too, like we always do. So stay tuned with all of our coverage from Madison, Wisconsin, and all the way through till the end of the season and till the end of time. For Bill, for Doug, I'm Ari. Thanks again for keeping up with our coverage.